What's up guys? My name is Justin Mark, international dating coach and relationship expert. Right now I'm sitting in my penthouse in Toronto, Canada, and in this video, we're gonna talk to you about the mystery method. What is the mystery method? The mystery method is essentially an incredibly powerful lifestyle guide that's gonna shift your mindset and your perspectives when it comes to meeting and seducing women. The mystery method, simply put, is a system created by Eric von Markovic, aka Mystery, for meeting and seducing women. And what we're gonna do in this three-part video series, in part one, part two, and part three, is we're gonna break it down, we're gonna figure out what it is, why it works, and how you can effectively implement this into your life. And I also highly recommend you actually go check out the Mystery Method, get a copy for yourself, because it's a very powerful guide. I personally have been practicing a lot of this material and a lot of the fundamental core concepts of pickup, cold approach, and you know this kind of interesting art form over the last eight years, I'm actually entering my ninth year practicing this stuff. It's taken me to 50 plus countries. It's allowed me to date literally thousands of women. Um, it's allowed me to have hundreds and hundreds of crazy intimate experiences. And it's allowed me to just live a life beyond what I even thought could have been possible. And it's all thanks to this community of seduction, of pickup artists, and amazing guys who are adding value to teaching this to the younger generation. So I would really say I came from the third generation of you know PUAs and seduction coaches. And it, it really, at this point, it's really about creating a lifestyle where you're happy and living an amazing life. And it's all thanks to mystery, the fucking grandfather of this amazing art form. Okay, and you know, when Mystery read this book, he was so ahead of his time. He was so ahead of like what was out there for traditional men's dating advice at the time. So I want you to actually, you know, sit back and actually learn these fundamentals. I actually didn't even read the Mystery Method or go through a lot of this content until recently, even though I've been doing game for eight years. And I also realized that I actually naturally do a lot of these things intuitively. Uh, Mystery's concepts and teachings really influenced the lives of so many men around the world, literally millions of people, uh, directly or indirectly. And so what you can do is watch this three-part video series and learn this stuff and change your life forever. And then after, go ahead and you know follow the actual content from the mystery method itself. So let's jump in and uh, let's jump straight into the, the content. All right, guys, welcome back to part two of the three-part series. We're talking about the mystery method. And in this part of the video, we're talking about comfort. So mystery breaks down the mystery method into three parts, right? Attraction, which we talked about in part one, comfort, which we're talking about in this video, and seduction, which we're talking about in part three. So we're gonna talk about comfort and how to build comfort. So mystery essentially says that the goal of comfort is to make her comfortable in your presence. You wanna start the comfort phase when you are alone with her. So mystery first talks about C1, building rapport. In this phase, you're talking about you two and about life in general. You wanna create rapport and create a sense of understanding. So guys, the mystery method, it actually focuses a lot on routines and a lot of these like gimmicky stories and building rapport and stuff like that, but you can actually just make your own. You can literally create your own, you know, stories and experiences and routines to build comfort, right? So oftentimes when I'm on a date, I will share stories about my life. I'll share stories about my motorcycle trip in Australia. I'll share stories about crazy parties I have. I'll share stories about my lifestyle. I'll share stories uh, about, you know, vulnerable experiences. And this shows I'm a real person. It builds comfort. And it's not like some sort of gimmicky thing I'm doing. This kind of just naturally happens when I'm on a date or, you know, leading towards, you know, furthering an experience with a woman, right? And so what you want to do is you want to build comfort through, you know, routines or whatever the fuck it is or stories or whatever the fuck you're doing to make sure that you know, you're know you showing that you're a real person. You're not just some guy hitting on her at the club, at the bar, in a social venue. You wanna show that you're a real guy. So that's essentially C1, you're building rapport. Now in C2, what you're trying to do is you're trying to build an emotional and physical connection. The goal of C2, this phase, is to double down on what's happening. You're, you're trying to ensure that you can build emotional connection and that really deep emotional connection. And so the goal here is to actually start getting more physical in a consensual and respectful way. You want to touch her physically, consensually of course, but in a way that's very friendly and playful that builds comfort. Because imagine, you know, by the time you get to the bedroom and things are getting hot and spicy in a consensual, respectful way, maybe she's just not comfortable and just doesn't happen. And you know, you won't, never want to put someone in a situation where they're gonna feel uncomfortable. So you're actually doing this so you can further along the consent and the respect in your relationship dynamic. So when you are in the bedroom, it's just normal for you guys to start kissing and hook it up in intimacy, right? And we're gonna talk about that obviously 
in phase three. And this is all from Mystery's Mystery Method. So obviously if you wanna learn more about this, go to the Mystery Method and uh, get a copy of it and learn this stuff. So Mystery essentially says, touch her more. You want her to start being comfortable with your touches. Right, and it can be in a playful way, in a gimmicky way, in a friendly way, holding hands, whatever it is. Right, it's a very normal part of relationships to touch, get physical, again, in a respectful way. You know, he says you want to calibrate your touches. If she likes it, touch more. If she pulls back, stop and talk more before even trying to touch her physically again. The early pickup artists used to have problems on how to kiss girls, but eventually Neil Strauss, aka by his nickname Style, came up with a routine for that one too. And he calls it the evolution phase shift routine. Tell a story of how animals start having sex and kiss her as you tell the story, starting from the forearm to the neck till you reach her lips. So obviously, again, you wanna make sure she's comfortable every step of the way. You don't wanna ever put a woman in a situation where she doesn't feel safe, respected, or comfortable. Otherwise, you can go to jail. You can actually end up with some sort of criminal charge just because you're lacking social awareness. You wanna make sure she feels safe every step of the way. Just be sure to do that, okay? And so obviously I, I would highly recommend, you know, go check out the mystery method and go learn this stuff even deeper and actually, you know, make sure that you don't ever even try to be too pushy with women because it can be dangerous getting physical with women if they're not comfortable with you, right? It's dangerous for you, it's dangerous for them, they won't feel comfortable. You gotta make sure that they feel comfortable and respected and make sure there's consent and respect every step of the way. Now C3, we're talking about intimacy here. Mystery says to start intimacy, you must be in a sexual location and you start the process of intimacy by first making out. Now, in my experience, you don't have to make out. Like you can, but you don't have to, right? It's like 2021. Like I don't kiss every girl I hook up with, as crazy as that is. A lot of times I'll actually be hanging out with girls. I go to a lot of these like very crazy, open-minded swinger parties, these crazy events. And oftentimes it's almost like weird to make out. Like kissing is a very intimate experience, right? And so like, look, if you're on a date and the relationship dynamic is like very one-on-one, Awesome, but I go to a lot of events where sex is very open, it's very normal, it's very okay, right? But kissing is actually a lot more intimate than sex, right? And so if you try to kiss the person you're with, they're gonna feel uncomfortable, but like it's very normal to perform oral or you know sexual experiences with each other, right? And so you wanna make sure she's comfortable every step of the way, but kissing is a great way to build intimacy. Also neck kissing is a great way to build intimacy as well. Now guys, as crazy as this, you know, second part of the mystery method is, uh, it gets even crazier in part three of this mystery method breakdown. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I want you guys to go to part three of this three-part mystery method series broken down by me, Justin Mark, and uh, we'll see you there in part three. My name is Justin Mark, international dating coach and relationship expert. And guys, thank you so much for watching this three-part breakdown of the mystery method. Very powerful book that was a foundational uh, guide to the seduction community and to guys who wanna learn to become better with women. I highly recommend you go check out the mystery method awesome book awesome piece of content but also keep in mind it was written quite a bit of time ago and you kind of got to update a lot of the things that he talks about for modern society and for today's you know experiences for what works in dating in modern society okay and uh i highly recommend you guys check that book out it's awesome it's definitely a fundamental um it's definitely a great place to start and uh, yeah, thanks so much for chatting with me, guys. And thanks for watching this video and being part of this amazing Mystery Method book review. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Make sure to watch part one, part two, and part three of this three-part series. And hey, guys, also make sure to leave a thumbs up on this video if you liked it. If you want to see more videos like this, it lets me know I'm doing a great job. So leave a thumbs up right now. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Click the bell notification so you're notified of new videos. And hey, if you have any questions, go ahead and follow me and message me on any of my social media, my Snapchat, Sexy Justin, my Instagram, Drunk Justin 2 or join my VIP Inner Circle Telegram group linked in the description below. And we'll see you guys very soon in a new video. Peace out.